Hey there folks, this is Alan from MindVisionMedia.net and today I just want to answer a few questions I get about the eye feature theme from CyberChimps. Uh, basically the question involves the slider. So if you're using the eye feature free version, um, it's pretty hard to get a straight answer on how to um, modify the slider height and in this case I'm going to show you a workaround very simple you want to go to your appearance inside your dashboard go to appearance and theme options which will bring up your theme options page for the iFeature free version Okay, and you notice here slider light that's the version of the slider you have on the home, uh, on the feature slider. And here are your images. Now, as I mentioned, this is a workaround. So what we're going to do is, since you cannot access the um, settings or get support for the actual slider itself, what we're going to do is create images that give the effect of the slider height being smaller. Okay, and basically you're just going to want to click upload. You're going to want to create a couple of images in Photoshop or if you don't have Photoshop you want to use maybe GIMP. Um, but you want to create your images at the, at the height that you want. Now the important thing to do is to maintain the width the same width that the default images are using. That way it will fill up your container here for the home page. It will reach across just like this image, but it will not be so high. So in this example, I created two images and the width, as I mentioned, is 1140 pixels. And the height I made just 100 so that I could demonstrate a drastic change in the height of the slider. Okay, so I'm going to select this image. Go ahead and insert that one under um, image slider image one. And then slider image two, I'm going to go ahead and do different color. Okay, now you always have to save. So, go on up here, you know how to do this part. Go ahead and save your theme options. And now let's go back. And as you can see, the slider is the default height, which, like I said, a lot of people are um, trying to get information on how to modify the slider height. In this case, all we did was modify the slider image. I want to do one more thing. Forgive me. Or actually, you know what? I'll leave it in there so that you can see the effect refresh and as you can see the slider is now 100 pixels high the height that I created my images in Photoshop alright and if I take my mouse off of the slider the next slider that I created at 100 pixels high is shown now when it goes to the default image notice how the slider height just changed itself back to whatever the image height is so that's a quick workaround, folks. It's not really complicated. Instead of modifying the slider element itself, which is a proprietary um, issue with CyberChimps, modify the height of your images. Okay, so just keep that in mind. And it doesn't have to be 100 pixels high. I just wanted to show you how the slider itself adjusts to whatever height your image is. Okay. So, create an image at 200 pixels high or 300 pixels high or, you know, whatever height you want on your image. And that's what will show up in the slider. And, of course, under theme options, you want to replace any other um, images that are in there. Okay, and you can have up to three in the iFeature 3. Uh, I'm sorry, iFeature free uh, theme. Alright, so I hope that helps. 
And if you have any questions, give me a shout at mindvisionmedia.net, and I'll be happy to help. Thanks for tuning in to this video, and check out my YouTube channel. All right, talk to you later. Bye.